and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a swirl transition. You can find the two clips that I've got right here via the description below. Let us first go to effect. So we type in iris and we've got an iris folder. We'll use the iris round. Drag and drop it onto the transition and we are going to center it. So click on it. Go to alignment and effect controls. You can also change the duration right here. I'll just keep it at one second. That's fine for this tutorial, but you can adjust it up here as well in effect controls. Now we need a second effect. It's called twirl. It's a simple distortion. I will drag it on the first file. So the one on the left in the timeline Then select that file and we're going to adjust it in effect controls. So here is our twirl. If you can't find these menus, so the effect controls and effects, just go to window and click on them. They should open. Let's go to the starting position of the transition first. So the iris transition. And we'll go a little bit further to the left. Then click on the animation icon for angle. Then go to the end of the transition. And we'll go to, let's say, 360. A new keyframe is automatically generated. For most clips, that's already enough. You can also play around with radius. Just go to twirl radius and give it a fixed value. You can see it becomes a little bit more intense thanks to it. But if you, for example, don't like it that there's a swirl before the iris starts, you can reposition your keyframe right here. Let me do that. If you've got the problem of having black areas when the twirl starts, it might be because your video file is only as big as your sequence. In my case, it's not. So let me scale it down a little bit so that I can simulate that problem. I go to 50. And now you can see these black areas. You can get around it by scaling it up when the twirl starts. So let me get to this position. Then I create an animation for scale. So it's the first video file once again. Now I jump to the end of the iris and I scale it up, let's say, to 150. And if I play it now, we don't have black areas anymore. So that's the way to solve that problem. Or maybe 100 is even enough. So just play around with it until you've got a scaling value that helps you to get rid of these black areas. And this is how you can create a swirl transition in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.